Oh. Fuck DC. I man. have zip ties. <laughs> Maybe I look. actually need a couple of zip ties. Who's saying they have zip ties? Well, I think I have zip ties. I did. I, whenever I came here, I had a bunch of them. Quick, start peeling your socks for lint. <laughs> Let's get right. multiple lighters on this. This is yeah. symbolic. <laughs> yeah, this is symbol symbolism. Hey, who's got a lighter? Any more lighters? I got a zip tie too. I got a zip tie too. We need some more lighters. <laughs> With our powers combined, uh, I am Captain Planet. Burning the Constitution. <laughs> Fuck that win. I'm sorry this is taking so long. We could just put it on the ground and stomp on it if we're just going for the symbolism. Burn the Constitution. So tell people on live stream why you want to burn it. Because this this is why our government is corrupt. This is the this is declaration. Of this is the NDAA. No, this is the Constitution of the United States, which has become corrupt and has been changed so much that it's nothing like what it is. The NDAA confirms the death. Uh, I think you're being watched, sir. I think you're about to be taken out. Yes, the Constitution. Want to see the White House overturn? Want to see the blue blood turn black? This is the Constitution of the United States. This is what we should do to it. This is why our government is so corrupt. Because they have changed it from what it was originally. This is no longer what it was originally made to be. Our founding fathers did not intend this. But this is what it has become. Isn't because that the this is our, what has Isn't that the Constitution smoking from what's been done to it? <laughs> yes, the it Declaration is. of Independence and Constitution of the United States of America. And this is where Obama stepped on the Constitution by signing the NDAA. Absolutely. Hey, Amen. get the shot in front of the Capitol. That'd be a good shot. Who has my lighter? So, where's the First Amendment there? Should we read it off to the people if it's still in one piece? Yes. Amendment 1. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or of the right of the people to peacefully assemble and petition the government for the redress of grievances. Hey, that's a good one. Give me an idea, because you guys are merging now, and really there's a, a, a lot of talk uh, about you. What, what is it that you're trying to accomplish or help, help the Occupy movement accomplish? We're trying to end the corruption that is the, that is taking over America. Uh -huh. We are here for the people because the people do not know how to undermine the government in a way that can work efficiently. All we can do as individuals is come out together like this. But as anonymous, we go online and we collect. But as anonymous, we go online and we collect. But as anonymous, we go online and we collect. They worked within the system. And what did the system? Because they're told, work within the system, work within the system. They did. Right. We all did. And we got the biggest political betrayal of any campaigner ever. I would rate him just slightly better than a black George Bush. I cried at his inauguration because I thought it was such a wonderful thing. I actually was naive enough to believe that this country was going to take a radical departure. I expected to see George Bush in an orange prison suit in handcuffs. But I was obviously naive because he just followed right along with George Bush's policies. Now we have NBA too. It's just getting worse. So do you think that today's protest is going to you know, a big message to Congress? Uh, Any message is a big message. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
you gotten any po positive responses from fellow officers that are still that are still not no but then again I I, uh, I secluded myself once I left I got away from everything and uh, it wasn't just till the last couple of years I even uh, started to read a, a computer. You know, I, I don't watch TV, I don't listen to the radio, uh, newspapers now, uh, because it's all brainwashing, all propaganda. Now, though, with this independent media, well, you got a lot of terrific investigative reporting. And subsequently, that's how I found out about this whole movement. But on investigative reporting is where it's at. Documentaries are where it's at. Unfortunately, too many people are watching. In the corporate media, they, they've numbed everybody down to be satisfied with watching Jerry Springer and Dr. Phil. And they should be watching documentaries. This is what's important to your life. Uh, Captain Lewis, I was recently arrested for a felony conspiracy while Mike checking Mayor Jerry Sanders at uh, his State of the City address. Uh, I'd like to know what city, 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 of, city of San Diego. San Diego. Uh, we were charged with a, a felony uh, for a conspiracy. Because we might check them, yes. Uh, and, and what I would like to know is who can we direct the citizenry to to start writing letters to? In other words, who's giving the orders to the police to uh, to uh, bump up these charges uh, as a strategy? The mayor, the mayor controls the police commissioner. Okay, the police commissioner is chosen by the mayor, and. He's the one that's responsible for the police commissioner's actions. So you have to have people petitioning him, occupying his building, his office, and saying, this is not right. Your police commissioner is not behaving along the professional and respectful uh, standards that we expect. You've got to get it from the mayor. Alrighty? Yes, thank you so much for speaking with me. Thank you very much. Your name was what? I'm Aubrey Whalen. Aubrey Whalen, alright. Oh, where are you? Where at? Um, right outside Lampdale. Oh, that's not Philadelphia. Oh, that's not Philadelphia. Ah, no, Lansdowne is not Philadelphia. Lansdale. Lansdale. La wait, Lansdale. Lansdale. Not yeah. Philadelphia. I'm only, I'm only joking with you, though, because I meet so many people. Oh, I'm from Philadelphia. I'm from Philadelphia. And then they say Upper Darby. This, uh, they're all outside of Philadelphia. I mean, you know. But that's okay. I understand. <laughs> you want to be a Philadelphia. We all do. We all do. <laughs> so, uh, uh, a couple more questions. What's next? What's next for you? Okay. Uh, Occupy Philadelphia asked me very early on to come down there and support the movement. At that time, I refused. I didn't quite feel comfortable going down there with people that I had previously worked with, although I felt justified. Uh, but I didn't feel quite that comfortable. Plus, Zuccotti Park was the epicenter of this movement, so I felt very comfortable there. But since getting these letters from the police commissioner and uh, John McNesby, I'm, I may be going down to Occupy Philadelphia. The other thing I'm going to do is uh, people wanted me to join a bus tour, a regional, very local, stopping at different Occupy sites uh, like Rochester, Buffalo, uh, in uh, then in Pennsylvania, Scranton, Allentown, Pittsburgh. So I plan to join that. It's about a two-a-week bus trip, stopping off at different Occupy camps. Okay. Okay. Thanks. And uh, kind of uh, on a on a lighter note, she knows her pets. <laughs> Neither. Neither. I try to go vegetarian. Ah. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for talking with us. We appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, I, I want to be vegan. All right. All right. Right on. Right on. Thank you. Awesome. So there we go, guys. Uh, it was an interview with uh, the captain, the retired captain from Philadelphia there. Um, the sun is coming out. The sky is beginning to shine down on us here. So for all those folks that are saying the weather gods don't like Occupy, well... Right as the GA is about to re-begin, uh, the weather guys appear to be shining down upon us. Yo! Yo! Dude! Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I saw that. Uh, all right, so it looks like the GA. Looks like the GA is about to start again. Facilitator, where are you guys going to stay at the center at? Probably right here. Probably right here. Okay. All right. All right, guys, we're just waiting on GA to restart. And while we do that. Thank you, guys. 
Oh, by the way, guys, my camera battery, it's, uh, it's, still, it's probably still got about a third of its battery life left. Uh, but if it does go down, I will replace the battery. Light check! Light check! Get all the facilitators! Get all the facilitators! And dragons! And dragons! We're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and wait on we're just gonna go ahead and wait on this and while we wait on this I will break out the monopod here and then break out my social networks and chat with y'all for a little bit. That means drink. Drinking game uh, rules apply. Uh, every time I do mention social networks, uh, go ahead and take a shot. Have a good time. You're at home. Drink responsibly. Don't drive. All right, so I'm getting on uh, my Ustream right now. Rocky Squirrel, I actually did not see that event. Uh, of a group in Guy Fox Masses burning a uh, constitution. I did not see that. Um, indeed, Mary Mad drink. Um, there has been no violence. Root loaders locked down on this one. They don't have a permanent root for it yet. Uh, the Resound, Verizon. Dual core, one and a half gigahertz. Yeah. It's the only one with an actual uh, uh, HD HD video, huh? Mike check! Mike check! You put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. What I just noticed is these cops don't seem to have nightsticks. arresting people and detaining them for doing the hokey pokey? How fucked up is that? Go home! You don't need to be here. Go home and tell your family how proud of yourself you are for harassing people for doing the hokey pokey. Where's my helmet? I got a thick head.
So uh, if anybody's not familiar with Jeff Cloy, he's Occupy Your Screen on Ustream, and he's at Jeff, J-E-F-F-K-L-O-Y on Twitter. You should follow him. So my stream, it probably isn't working, because uh, my, my TV cam is dead, right. and uh, my phone, the battery keeps dying. So uh, I'm, I'm showing clips, so if you guys go to my Ustream page. You got the extended battery though, right? Uh, not on this one. Not on that one? I got a couple of extra HTC batteries if you want to, if you need to use one. Oh, shit, yeah. Hey look, Pump Boy is, is, is hooking it up right now. Well, how, how much I made? They're just the standard ones, aftermarket. Oh. <laughs> I should have enough power for today, so this will get you like another three hours or so. Thanks, man. Getting back to me in San Francisco if I don't see you. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Are you staying for a couple more days, right? Um, I'm staying tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, I, I fly back Thursday. All right, well, hang on to him if I don't see you. Because yeah. I'm sure by six, this place is going to be heavily occupied. So I heard they gave 20, it was either 200,000 or 20,000 tickets on the mega bus. Like all the people on the East Coast were given free bus tickets to get here. Yeah. So hopefully this place will be very full. But I'm going to mosey. So good luck. Yeah. If I don't see you, I'm sure I'll see you around here today. But if I don't see you, I'll just hang on to him and get him back to me in San Francisco. What? Are you coming to like Occupy DC oh. or like that doesn't matter? Uh, I am, uh, I'm staying at a hotel like right a block away from Freedom Plaza. Okay. I've got my anonymous crew at, uh, at McPherson. Now we're allowed to stay on the wall? I mean, yeah, so, I'm planning to go to McPherson tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll be around there. Uh, uh, just ask, ask around for Camp Mayhem. That's, that's my people. And if, if you're done with those, you can just drop them off to them and I'll get them from them. All right. Thanks, man. It's, uh, you know, ghost pickles? On Twitter? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's that crew. So just ask around for them if you're done with them and drop them off to them. Otherwise, just hang on to them until San Francisco. Because I, I haven't even touched the small batteries the whole time I've been here. So, Alright, take it easy. Alright, GA is reconvening. Let me head over that way. Occupado! Occupa Washington, D.C. So, the stage you were asking about with the uh, entertainment is going on now, so why don't I move over uh, to that. So it looks like this is the uh, Defense Authorization Act uh, people here. All right, so one of the things we did at Occupy Charlottesville um, was there was a holiday parade sponsored by Wells Fargo, your friends at Wells Fargo. So a few, few of us handed out flyers, the text of which is on, again, the Fire Pit Mike Facebook page. You can see all about their misdeeds, but just reading about it's not enough. So we put together a little song to the tune of Jingle Bells. It goes like this. Here's the chorus. Hopefully you'll pick it up and then I'll sing the verses. Whoa, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, how low will you go? Steal away our assets with your predatory loans. Oh, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, how low will you go? Prey upon the working stiffs who trust you with their homes. Now if you want a home, you'll need to get a loan. Just go to Wells Fargo, you'll get a subprime loan. Your interest rate goes up to one you can't afford. You'll think that everything is great and then they'll take your home. Uh, they were doing the hokey pokey over there, Matthew. After some years. I don't know about this guy like you ever said. I've only talked to you. Your predatory loans. Oh, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, how low will you go? Prey upon the working stiffs who trust you with their homes. 
Now, they treated the military pretty badly, too, believe it or not. You're serving overseas and having a tough time. Don't worry about a thing. Wells Fargo's on your side. They'll foreclose on your home and take away your pride. Your family's left to tent outside with Seaville Occupy. Seaville is short for Charlottesville, in case you didn't know. Whoa, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, how low will you go? Steal away our assets with your predatory loans. Oh, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, how low will you go? Prey upon the working stiffs who trust you with their homes. Now, Wells Fargo actually got caught. This is what happened. When Wells Fargo got caught, they had to pay a fine, 80 million bucks to cover up the crime. But it doesn't care, it has nothing to fear, because it made 4 billion bucks in one quarter last year. Oh, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, how low will you go? Steal away our assets with your predatory loans. Oh, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, how low will you go? Prey upon the working stiffs who trust you with their homes. Now, just one final word about the Wells Fargo CEO. I don't know his name. It doesn't really matter. It could be anybody. Well, Wells Fargo, CEO, he makes a lot of dough. 40 million bucks in the last two years alone. He don't live in a tent. He don't pay no high rent. There's no way he could be one of the 99%. No! Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, how low will you go? Steal away our assets with your predatory loans. Oh, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, how low will you go? Prey upon the working stiffs who trust you with their home. All right, now so this, is, uh, this is an Occupy song I wrote and played around the fire pit at Occupy Charlottesville. It's just called the Occupy Song. There's people dying, people crying all over the land. It's nothing new, and man, you've seen it too, and we're doing all we can. Or are we? It's time for all generations to quit speculation and take a hardline stand For freedom and love and life and peace and why we don't, I don't understand These words I'm saying are more than 50 years old Man, they've been around since the beginning of time and if we got together to speak in one loud voice Hey, we could make these words yours and mine Oh, love and peace will only cease if we allow them to The government looks after itself who look after me and you it's time for a change, stop the hot rain of corruption, greed and bloodshed. So let's say it so clear and utterly sincere and we can change the world, my friend. It's people jobless, people homeless, all over the land. It's nothing new, man, you've seen it too and we're doing all we can. Or are we? Are we? Yeah. It's time for all generations to quit speculation and take a hardline stand for freedom and love and life and peace and why we don't, I don't understand. 
these words I'm saying I'm more than 50 years old Man, they've been around since the beginning of time And if we got together to speak in one loud voice Hey, we could make these words yours and mine Oh, love and peace will only cease if we allow them to the government looks after itself who look after me and you it's time for a change stop the hot rain of cold whoa my microphone whoa <laughs> that sort of spoiled the moment didn't it Time for change, stop the hard rain of corruption, greed and bloodshed. So let's say it so clear and utterly sincere and we can change the world, my friend. Here we go, there's people trying, occupying. There's people trying, occupying all over the land. It's something new. You've seen it too and we're doing all we can. Oh, are we? January 25th. January 25th. Occupy Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street. Is taking a five week road trip. Is taking a five week road trip. They plan to visit. They plan to visit. Small rural occupies. Small rural occupies. On the East Coast. On the East Coast. February, I'm sorry, January 20th to 23rd. January 20th. In South Carolina, there will be an occupation of the Republican primary. February. Get those fuckers. February 5th. Occupy the Super Bowl. Very bourgeois. Very bourgeois. It's in Indianapolis. It's in Indianapolis. At the Capitol. At the Capitol. I didn't mean the occupation was bourgeois, by the way. I didn't mean the occupation was bourgeois, by the way. In late March. In late March. There's an event called Walkupy. There's an event called Walkupy. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. But it's happening. But it's happening. Maybe someone can clarify when I'm done. Maybe, Maybe someone, someone can clarify when I'm done. February 3rd. February 3rd. There will be protests against the NDAA. There will be protests against the NDAA. Sorry, that's all the notes I have on that. I'm sorry, that's all the notes I have on that. 
early March. Early March. In Annapolis, Maryland. In Annapolis, Maryland. They will occupy the state house. They will occupy the state house. On a date to be determined. On a date to be determined. March 15th through March 18th. Uh, commemorating the Spanish Indignados. Commemorating the Spanish Indignados. Uh, which commemorating uh, the Spanish Indignados. Which had an influential role on our occupied movement. Which had an influential role on our occupied movement. Which had an influential role on our occupied movement. Which had an influential role. May Day. May Day. There will be May first. May first. Is May Day. National call to action. There will be a national call to action. Occupy Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street. Occupy Having strikes and boycotts. Strikes and boycotts. And in our national call to action group, there was a consensus. There was a consensus. There was a consensus. That despite the uh, despite to the contrary, that despite the decision to the contrary, we we would like to somehow endorse that. J7 endorse that. J17 would like to somehow endorse that. J7 endorse that. J17 endorse that. Of occupiers. Of occupiers. Get involved. Get involved. Get involved. Get involved. Uh, um, July 4th. July 4th. I'm told Pittsburgh. I'm, I'm told Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is planning. Is planning. A national general assembly. A national general assembly. I suppose to celebrate slash address. I suppose. The DNC is in Charlotte. The DNC is in Charlotte. Protest DNC.org. Protest DNC.org. And there will be a press, con press conference tomorrow. And there will be a press conference tomorrow. In Charlotte. In Charlotte. Maybe you can tune in. Maybe you can tune in. Um, and then last but not least. Uh, September 17th, September 17th is our birthday. Is our birthday. So there will be an anniversary. Occupy Wall, Wall Street. And I would imagine that other cities will be doing things for their own anniversaries. I almost forgot my favorite. I almost forgot my favorite. Uh, April 7th. April 7th. Occupy Chicago. Occupy Chicago. Putting out a call to action. Putting out a call to action. We've gone indoors for the winter. We've gone indoors for the winter. So it's sort of like a spring wake up call. So it's sort of like a spring wake up call. And then in March. And then in March. The weekend of the 19th through 22nd. The weekend of the I'm sorry. 19th through 22nd. May 19th through 22nd. May 19th through 22nd. We're having some visitors in Chicago. We're having some visitors in Chicago. It's a joint summit. It's a joint summit. G-A-N. 
NATO. G-A-T-O.